previously on the Youth Edition. the youth edition career mode FIFA 17 with Cheltenham Town and it's been a rough start to the season here 15 games in only two wins on the board and really struggling to find goals I've done a little bit of testing I've, ch I've tweaked the tactics and I've tweaked the formation a little bit it's still a uh, 4-2-3-1 kind of uh, situation I've dropped the, the, the centre midfield back more into a CDM role so we can defend a little bit better and hopefully launch some attacks I've changed a few of the tactics and the likes if it works and we start getting some more goals and the likes uh, I'll put out another video just show you what I've changed but uh three games we'll be looking for some wins Let's get into this one. All right, today's player upgrade is Backer, and uh, this one comes from Kieran McDonald. Thank you very much for your comment. He wanted to keep the number 19, so that's good. Black wristbands, high socks, undershirt, and blue boots. So unfortunately, we can't see those wristbands, but the game will probably glitch out. We won't see the undershirt, and you might see the wristbands then. Um, but yeah, Backer's ready to go. Hopefully, he can continue that form he had in the last episode where he finally found the back of the net. All right, here we go. First game of the episode. It's a rainy night here in Cheltenham. And we're hosting second placed Barnsley. So uh, a pretty tough encounter here for Cheltenham Town. Uh, Blagoj Ivanov, Tassev and Alfie Alexander have all been called away on international duty. So just to help out with our uh, injuries and our squad depth, we now have to take on second place Barnsley who have only lost one game uh, with a big part team. Becker will come in at left back. Tekkers at left midfield. And uh, Vermeulen is coming into a CDM role. Obviously changed up the uh, the formation a touch. It's still pretty much the DK formation. I've just dropped that centre midfielder back a little bit, changed some of the tactics and work rates and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see if we can create some opportunities through the next couple of episodes. And hopefully this change in tactics and formation and, and play style will help us out here. Um, here is our starting line cup. It's Lonka, Santana, Dujimont, Alexi, Becker, Luna, Vermulent, Fontana, uh, Anwar, Tekkers, and Tamite up front. Dujimont taking the captain's armband today. Obviously, Cooper's out injured and Tasev away on international duty. Holy shit, dude. Look at that dude's hair. That's, that's fucking incredible. Love those dreadlocks. All right, let's get into this. We need some wins. Come on, Cheltenham. Anwar gets the run from Fontana and he slips it down the line to Mite. And he creates something here. Gets the run through from Fontana. Fontana's done well. Slips this one off. Tekkers tries to turn his man. Gets picked off. Anwar with a good challenge. Here's the nose in Luna. Can he create something? Slips it off to Mite. Tries to take it around his man. And where the fuck did that go? Passes it off to Mite. Luna. Oh, just gets dropped, but Becker's there, picks up the crumbs. Here's Tekkers. Tekkers inside, Anwar flicks this one off, Luna. He's made some space, Luna works the keeper. Anwar gets back in, here's Tamite, slips it off. Here's the nose in Luna, Luna, yes, gets in! 1-0 Cheltenham, the nose sniffs out a goal. And it was some well-worked play there from Cheltenham, just thought their way through it. Tamite getting involved, finds the nose again. He Sniffs the back of the net, puts it past the keeper, and it's 1-0 Robbins. Get in. Luna doing the business. And we take the lead here against second place Barnsley. And fucking Tom Dari absolutely off his face. He's loving it. 1-0. Oh, here's Barnsley. Here's the shot. And Loncar once again. Well, he's becoming a little bit of a liability. We did get exposed at the back. Winnell gets through, gets the shot. And, well, Lonkar didn't even look like he was ready for that one. Barnsley equalised in the 40th minute. We defended well up until then. Tekkers has been like an absolute beast possessed. But uh, some poor marking there from uh, Lexky and Dujimont. Exposes Lonkar and he didn't really even move for that one. Oh, very late there from Lonkar. Montana, out to Tamite. Well, what was he trying there? Not too sure. And that should be half-time it is at one-all. Slips it off to Alexki. 
He passes it inside. He's found Anwar. Anwar slips his man, shoots. Oh, great defending there from Barnsley. There's Fontana over the top. Wants Tomite to run for him. Oh, just drilled. No free kick. Play on, says the ref. Here comes Barsley. Here's the shot. And fuck me, Longcar. 89th minute lead for Barnsley. We've defended so well in this second half. And finally, they find an opening and straight past Longcar like he's wearing fucking blind man's glasses. Oh, long car, you're having a howl of this season, mate. That is rubbish effort from you, mate. And you're going to have to apply yourself a little bit more or you'll be finding yourself on the bench. 2-1, Barnsley. And there's the whistle. We go down 2-1. A promising start. But second place, Barnsley, all too strong. Seven shots, six on target. We were right in that game. And uh, Tamite with an 8.3. Luna with an 8.3. Long car. It's just been rubbish of late. Right, monthly scaling update is back from Sweden. And Lindqvist will not make the cut. Lindstrom's pretty average. London, no thank you. Well, nothing really here on the first run from Sweden. All right, we are in China and we have Chi Young Wu. Looks okay. Ling Miao, not really. Yi Wang, well, he looks pretty decent. And Huan Huan can bugger off with no face. But Yi Wang, he looks, looks like he could be 5 foot 10. And he's only worth 50 grand, so we'll keep an eye on him. And Argentina brings us back Aiden uh, Adan Ortiz. Looks all right, 66 to 90. And another Luna, Yago Luna, uh, 50 to 70. Mm, pretty much rubbish. All right, here we go. Game number two, and it's third place Wigan Athletic hosting Cheltenham Town this time. And the lens are back from international duty, so Elfie Alexander is out on the left. Ivanov and uh, Tassev back into the side. Well, unfortunate circumstances there against Barnsley. Seen us go down 2-1. Hopefully we can turn that around today. I have made a couple of changes. Backer comes in at right wing, right midfield. Uh, what else have we done? Taylor in between the sticks. Long car, you can have a fucking rest on the pine, mate. And uh, he needs to find some touch, that's for sure. Uh, Perot is coming in to partner up with Tassiv in the CDM roles. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can create some opportunities and hopefully we can find three points. It's a good ball. There's Tamite. Let me create. Looks for an opening. Slips it off to Baker. Oh, he couldn't sidestep. Good work from Ivanov to Perot. There's the nose. Luna works his way inside. Saved. Oh. Ivanov. To Baker. To Tassip. Back to Ivanov. Slips this one forward. He's got Tamite. He's made the run. It's fucking Baker. Oh, no. You don't give him the ball in the box, ladies and gentlemen. You don't give him the ball in the box. He just turned on it, panicked and shot, and uh, probably should have laid it back to Tomite, who had an acre of space. And there's half-time. Luna taken down, but no free kick. And at half-time, we've held on. It's nil all. Does well. Holds up the ball. Slips it off to Perot. Perot goes looking for Tassev, slips it forward, here's Luna, good save. Well, Cheltenham creating an opportunity finally here in the second half. A good save from the keeper. And it was very quick, but so was the keeper, and it's a corner now for Cheltenham. Alfie Alexander whips this one in. Who's there? Tomite gets a piece of it. Peru can't get in there, and the keeper. Enemy, Tomite. Tamite, get out of his way, Tassev, you fuck nut. Fuck me, why do they run in the fucking same area that I'm trying to run? Minami, did well. Alfie Alexander, back inside to Minami, back inside to Tamite. He's got one to be- Oh, fuck me, Tamite! You either fucking have Olympic shot or you put it into next week. Where's the finesse, mate? Oh, fuck me, he's got power, but that's just ridiculous. He's done well there. Oh, full time, a nil or fucking draw. Well, Taylor's got himself another bloody clean sheet, but bloody hell, Cheltenham. Six shots, two on target. We're playing better. We're definitely playing better, but oh, God, we just cannot finish in front of goal. 
Tassev 7.7, .7. Ivanov did well. Cuesta was rubbish when he came on. And Perot, 7.6. All right, final game of the episode sees Cheltenham Town hosting Portsmouth. And uh, we're getting very, very close to the start of December. It means that nearly half the season is gone and we need to find three points or we are deeply entrenched in the relegation zone. Portsmouth in seventh. So uh, we've played some big teams in this episode. Let's see if we can find a win. We're giving Longcar another sniff between the sticks, but we need to find him some form as well. Fucking hell, on car, you're worthless! You're fucking worthless, mate! Fuck me! What a rubbish fucking goalkeeper you've been this season! That was absolutely pathetic. Absolutely fucking pathetic. You better have a fucking look, good I'd look at yourself, mate. Poor defending there from uh, Dujimont. But shit, man. Long car, you've got to do better than that, son. That is worthless. Absolutely worthless. Lemons did well. He's got to meet, eh? I'm sure. How do you not have enough pace to meet, eh? Fuck this game, man. The fucking defending bullshit. When we played Bradford City, Andoni was running down to meet, eh? And he had fucking 60 odd pace. Montana, down the line, wants to meet, to run. Gets the run from Tomite. Does well, Tomite. Slips it off to Vermeulen. He's got Tekkers. Slips it off. It's Lemons. It's fucking Lemons! Fontana! Oh. Work back up. There's Tekkers. Slips it off to Lemons. Lemons needs a run up. He finds Tomite. It's Tekkers. Oh, it's just too congested. I miss some space, boys. All right, Tomite. What have you got here, son? Oh, half time and it's 1-0 and we're creating opportunities but just not that final fucking shot. Passev, Lemons, Passev, Tamite, oh fuck me every time we get in a spot for a decent pass we just get fucked. Send him off, he's a dickhead. Come on Tamite, fucking put one of these in mate. Oh, straight at the keeper. Get up, son. No, not today. Come on, boys. There it is. Full time. A 1 0 loss to Portsmouth and uh, Cheltenham really struggling. Six shots, four on target. We just are really struggling to hit the back of the net when required. And, well, to me, take 7.1. Vermeulen did well. Longcar. It was just fucking that goal from Longcar. That was just pathetic goalkeeping. New squad monthly report. Kushler still 79 to 94 and Charlotte 77 to 91, but they're both 15. They can't come in yet. Right, today's player upgrade will be the goalkeeper Taylor, the Scottish goalkeeper Taylor. Uh, he has had a clean sheet in every game that he's played and uh, he could just about be coming in as the starting goalkeeper in my opinion. He has been making better saves than Longcar. Longcar's done some idiotic things in the last month of games or so. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see happen with Taylor's kit. And do you think he deserves the number one strip? So unfortunately, unable to find a win there. Two losses and a draw leaves us on 13 points and uh, really sniffing out relegation here. Uh, it is a big month of December. The FA Cup will start up as well. So we've got a, an absolute plethora of games coming up in the next month before that transfer window opens. And uh, our salary cap is being pushed to the limit. We will have to address that once the January window opens. I feel we need a couple of players in here just to come in and, and sh you know, shake things up a little bit because uh, it's just not firing at the moment. Tamite's getting in good positions, but he, he's not get he's getting that delivery late. Uh, and when he does get in a good position, he normally just gets knocked over in a free kick. So, uh... Yeah, he needs to get in the gym and fucking push a few kilos, I think. But uh, that's where we're going to leave it. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hopefully, I'll get some goals for you in the next couple of episodes. I hope this isn't as boring as batshit. But, well, I guess it's good to see someone playing a career mode and actually getting fucked up. Because <laughs> most of the guys I watch are absolutely dominating. So, uh, I guess if you're looking for something like that, I know it's not as interesting as scoring amazing goals all the time. But uh, the struggle is real. And the fight back will be on. I guarantee you that, but we'll see you in the next episode. I'm Swain DK, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.